Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah with another episode of Fire Emblem Awakening. In our last episode, we went to the DLC um, called Rogues and Redeemers, and that was literally all of the enemies in all of the Lost Bloodlines packs, maxed out classes and maxed out levels. Oh my gosh, that was tough. It was quite the long episode, so let me know if you guys don't mind longer episodes like that. I think it was like about 45 minutes long, holy cow. <laughs> That's a good chunk of the day. All right, well, we're moving on. And as you can see on the bottom here, this is actually what happened in the main story. Uh, the Dynast Betrayal forces uh, the Ulyssian League to uh, retreat and divide. Their main force marches on Yenfei, while Basilio takes on Walhart despite the dangers. So we did see Basilio get hit, and we don't know if Flavia uh, actually, you know, saved him. Or if, you know, he's actually dead. I I'm not sure. But, we're going to move onward. Um, before we do so, we've got a couple barracks and supports. We're going to knock those out really quick. Okay, let's see. I have taken up the study of politics. I must do all I can to help lead my people. Okay, thanks, Seiri. Who's this? Owain, the blood of heroes courses through me. Today I will meet out... Great justice. Okay, cool. He was kind of glowing red there. That was fun. Hey, what's so funny? Did I put my breastplate on backwards? Oh no, I just remembered your remarkable fighting while trying to hatch a strategy. I see. <sighs> no one here has the fun. What do you do to kill time? Usually practicing with weapons. Don't get too close, though. My aim is rubbish. Ah, Brady. Nowie! Ooh, what's this? Finders Keepers. Oh, Siren's Hatchet. Cool. Okay, now the moment that we've been waiting for and working towards. Gregor and Cordelia. For an S rank. Yeah. Listen. Oh, Gregor! Oh, yes. Cordelia, you must tell Gregor. How did his soldier do on Love's Battlefield? No. Uh, actually, there's nothing to report. I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> did Gregor not give you enormous confidence boost? <laughs> uh, I know. You've done everything you can, and now it's up to me. Huh? That is spirit. <sighs> well, anyway, here goes nothing. I am wishing much luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. No, um... Um... <clears throat> I think... I've fallen in love with you. Nonsense. Ho oh, oh, ho, it's very good. It's exactly how you do it. Not even Gregor can resist charm. Well? I was hoping we might see more of each other, and perhaps even get married? <laughs> Oi! It's so cruel to practice this on Gregor. Cordelia must save proposal for real deal. <sighs> I have been. That was it. <clears throat> Oi, this is real deal? You propose to Gregor? Yes. I propose to Gregor. <clears throat> then man you chase like lovesick puppy all this time was Gregor? No. Not at first, no. But the more time I spent with you, the more I knew I'd been wrong. What? Gregor is confused, yes? All this very not expected. Listen. You think I'm charming, right? Huh? Like newborn baby napping in litter of tiny kittens. Well? And you think I'm pretty, right? Like sun over field of flowers on a cloudy less spring day. <laughs> and you like me, right? Oi. Oh yes, Gregor likes Cordelia very much. <laughs> then I think you have your answer. Yes. Yes is right, Gregor and Cordelia should make with the hitching. <sighs> oh good, then I think you owe me a ring. Gregor is on job. Gregor have old sock of coins under bed. He buys Cordelia finest ring in land. Then Cordelia and Gregor become so very much happy, yes? <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's do Olivia and Crom. Hey! Oh, hello, Olivia. My Eek, God. Crom! Really? Practicing again? Yes. I was just finishing, actually. Good. Oh, I was hoping that you might show me what you've been working on. Was that all right? Y you mean dance in front of you? <laughs> no, I couldn't possibly. But on the battlefield, you never hesitate to dance when called upon. No. Yes, but, well, that's different. The, the setting, the atmosphere. 
There's no time to think about it or worry about it, I just do it. Forgive me. It amazes me that someone so shy could be such an amazing performer. Your dances are really quite wonderful. I don't know how you can't see it. Oh. Lord Basilio told me much the same thing, albeit with different words. Something about charming the butt off a butterfly, I think. Really? Huh, that sounds like Basilio, all right. You and he go back a long way, right? How did you first meet? Yes. I owe him my honor and my freedom. Once, when I was traveling, when I was with a traveling theater group, I caught eye of a corrupt noble. He would have me. He would have stolen me and forced me into marriage if not for Con Basilio. Ha! <laughs> and here I thought Basilio is likely to carry off himself. Oh no, you have Basilio all wrong. He's not like that, not really. He told me a Khan doesn't need such tricks to find himself a partner. Actually, he was a much cruder about it, but you get the idea. Really? Let me guess, it was something about his big brown arse? <laughs> I guess you do know Basilio pretty well after all. <coughs> hey, look at that! Huh? What, did I say something wrong? I did, didn't I? No. No, I just... I don't think I ever heard you laugh before. At least, not in a nervous way. Oh, jeez, did I really laugh? Mm. Yes, it was actually quite lovely. Was that all oh, right? Crumb, you mustn't say that. Gods, I wish the ground would swallow me up right now. Forgive me. Well, I'm sorry if I embarrass you, but I enjoyed seeing you today. I feel like we're really getting to know each other. I look forward to our next conversation. Yes. Oh, yes, absolutely, me too. <sighs> I can't believe Crumb and I actually talk to each other like normal people. Gosh, I was so terrified of him at first. But he's actually quite charming once you get to know him. Nice! Okay, now a... Paralogue is gonna show up, my prediction. Ah, that's Gregor and Cordelia's kid right there. Alright, we're gonna do that one on the next episode. I wanna get on with this chapter. Alright, the Demon's Ingle. Let's jump in. Sibling Blades. Just as I thought, the Turncloaks only made a show of opposing us. We're clear of them. But Yenfei's forces approach swiftly. It won't be long now. Right. We should hasten south to meet them and distance ourselves from Walhart. This battle will, will be challenged enough without the Conqueror breathing down our backs. Nonetheless. Another concern, the Dynas who betrayed us. They attacked us and let us go, both because it suited their purpose. They should attack us from behind as we battle Yen Fei. It would be an easy victory. They would curry favor with the Empire without risk of injury. This is how they think. Hmm. Mm. We cannot defend two fronts. We'll need to choose our battlefield carefully. Say Re, that mountain, I've seen it smoke for hours, but I see no trees on it anywhere. What? Ah, that's no forest fire, sir. It's a volcano. Have you never seen one? That one is called Demon's Ingle. It, has known, it is known and feared by all people of Valm. Few dare even to get close, lest they anger the wicked fire god. Hmm. hmm. Abdallah, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I see. If... Only if you're wondering how quickly we can reach the volcano. Fight. Go to the demon's angle. Do you know what you're saying? All right. I'm saying your opportunistic former friends wouldn't dare risk following us. And we can use the flames as barriers to limit how your brother's army approaches. <laughs> hmm. My brother will still come. His stubborn pride will force his hand. Right. Then it seems we have our strategy. So be it. Tis a risky plan, but I can devise none better. And you two seem to have a pe peculiar talent for performing miracles. Okay, so let's take a look at this map, shall we? All right, look at these guys. Okay, Silver Axe, Concoctions. Okay, these are just promoted units around like levels five and seven. Uh, I don't really see anything too crazy. Ooh, here's Yen Fei, wow. Swordmaster, level 15, ooh. He's got a weapon called Amatsu. Mermin in classes only, Yen Fei's blade, and a noble rapier, very cool. Lords only. Sharp and commanding. Let's take a look at this dude. 
Whoa. Aha, uh -huh, I see him. He looks exactly like his picture, too. Cool, look at that blade. Can't wait to have that. Alright. Ooh, wow, treasure chest, too. Huh, we'll give Kellum something to do. So there's only four. That's not bad. So I guess our, our plan is to kind of just go straight down. Get one, two, move on over, get three and four. Or maybe we'll try with this one first. One, two, three, four. It really doesn't matter. We'll get them all. Alright, so in order to get them all, let's select our units. Um, yeah, I think these guys are good. I mean, we'll bring Seiri, just because she's got to face off against her brother at the end. We'll bring Abdallah, because he owns everything. We'll bring Olivia, just so that Kellum can move again and maybe get those treasures faster. Um, and Sully I'm bringing just to help with the support. And yeah, Kellum would be perfectly fine. Let's just bring, let's give Kellum a killing edge. That's all he needs. That's all he really needs in life is a killing edge. Okay, so view map, where are we putting these people? Okay, Kellum and Olivia. Let's bring Kellum and Olivia here. Abdallah, Seiri. Okay, not bad. Okay, we're ready to go. Quick save. All right, let's do this. What? Why, General, such a melancholic air about you today. Whatever is the problem? Oh, is today you, you're the day where you're gonna face off against your beloved sister? Dear me, of course it is. Well then, of course you'd be in a fall mood. No longer have a sister. She's a rebel and a traitor to the Empire. I have no sister. Really? Oh, very good, very good. Right out of the book, General Yenfei. And I commend you for your acting ability. Very convincing. I think all your men heard you. In any case, I'm so glad I can trust you not to take it easy on her ragtag little troop. <laughs> yes, we both know why you'd never let any of her comrades escape, don't we? Oh, I know it must be so difficult, General. But think of it this way. You still have a family, a big one. The most, the whole Imperial Army is your family now. Well, I should run. Do tell your little sister I say hello. Say hello. Ta-ta. Okay. Ooh, what is that? Okay, so now it's a floor hazard. Hmm. Interesting. All right, say re. Let's go to Crom. Abdal, let's move forward and destroy this guy. We'll speed it up because we know exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to throw my tome up in the air twice and then destroy him with a shock. <laughs> Very cool. Alright, kill him. Yeah, let's wait right here and then Olivia, you can dance for him and make him go farther. Dance! Boom, look at how far he can go. He's gonna end up killing all these people. That's the funny part. Alright, come on. I guess we'll give Seiri some screen time. Um, items. Switch with Seiri. No, actually, you know what? Switch back. No, you know what? Do it. Seiri needs some screen time anyway. Yep, deal. And then Morgan. Cynthia? Yeah, kill this guy. Just trip him with that axe. <laughs> trip him good. Gale Force? A Gale Force to be reckoned with. Let's do it again. Good always triumphs. Good always triumphs. Excellent. All right, so Morgan, uh, he can't really rally. Come on, Sully. Ooh. Oh, wow. So whenever they land on the hazard, they get 10 damage taken away from them? You can do Weird. This. Yeah, good luck with that, dude. You're not done yet. Nice. Hmm, 
got a concoction. I need to ready? Arc fire. Get out of here. Come on, Kellum. Kellum, you're just gonna stand still and take those flames. <laughs> There we go. Kellum's not messing around. Stay with us. Face me. There you go. What best friends you are. Ooh, nice. Not too bad. Oh, wow. How did you survive one hit? <laughs> Not too bad. Good block. Ooh, look at that. Oh man, tell him is the bomb. He's awesome. He just runs through people and destroys them. This Kellum gonna be the Oh lethality, yeah! A crit lethality? What? Does that even make sense? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna one hit kill you <laughs> times two. Oh, I don't even know how that makes sense. Alright, I'm gonna move across here. Let's go. Sully and me. We're gonna move on and attack this clown here. Get it together. Got him. Alright, now dance for me. Thank you, Olivia. I enjoyed seeing that. <laughs> you can do this. Here we go. Finish him. Alright, here we go, Callum. Ooh, one space. Dang, what a ripoff. Alright, that's fine. Morgan's gotta come on over here. Wait, where can Morgan go? Okay, Morgan can go right in this spot. So, one, two, three. Say re. Good. Excellent. Come on, Cynthia. Alright, we're moving. Oh gosh, all these little boulders are falling into the lava. I'm telling you, Hand Axe is so awesome. Because you can literally just have a Hand Axe and attack everyone. It's kind of like magic. But a little quicker. And an axe. <laughs> Alright, don't need to kill our lance. Zero damage. Alright, here they all come through. They're storming on through. Alright, those last stones are falling. Alright, rally my friends. Uh, I need this chest. Second seal. Aw, oh, rip off. Let's see. I'm gonna kill this dude. Got him. Yes. Okay, so you can only go up to right here. So say re. Wait right here, we'll dance for you. Lucy friend. There we go, showing the animations for the dance. Yeah. We like that. Yeah, none of these guys can touch me. Wow, that's crazy. I don't know if it's because Seiri's awesome or if it's because Krom is with him. And Krom's a boss. Alright, Cynthia, let's go. Oh man, these guys are giving me a little boost there. Thanks for taking 10 damage off of them. Stay focused. Oh, get out of here, Arc Thunder. Oh, 
Oh, another person. Tomahawk. 4%. Get out of here. Nope. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. There we go, leveling up. Very nice. The sky's the limit for her. I don't know, what the... Oh, you throw your axe in the air. That's cool. So whatever you have equipped as a dread fighter, you just throw it in the air. <laughs> a fight well won. There we go, Sabri, doing it. Ooh, that's a paladin. Ooh. We're not done yet. Mercy, friend. All right, here they come. Look at that guy. He's just stuck in the back there. What's he gonna do? All right, Callum. Yeah, I do need like one more step. So I need you to come over here. Let's get out of the way, Cynthia. Okay, where was I going again? Okay, you can go here. So that means that Callum's gonna go here. Alright, we'll skip the dance, keep going. A black screen! Alright, get that chest. Something good? Ooh, energy drop. That is actually good. Thanks. Those are rare. Alright, say Ree's gonna go around and destroy some peeps now. Should we hold on to Eleven Sword? Ugh. That's kinda garbage. My yeah. Say Ree's magic stat is like a potato. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Leveling up. Doing it. Good job. Morgan's all the way in the back. Alright, let's destroy this guy. Get that Ignis! Flame thrower of lightning. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Excellent. Now that's what I call progress. And getting that life taker. Gosh, that guy's just stuck in the back there. He's not even coming anywhere. What are you going to do against Kellum? He's going to block you and then do like a 1080 spin and slice you to death. I've got your back. <laughs> oh, wow. What are you going to do? Whoa, whoa. 21 silver bow. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. That was crazy. 17. Woo. I was really afraid of that bow. Oh my god. Tomahawk. Yeah, right. Oh, okay, now that guy's coming. Okay, here we go. So, Callum, you need to go all the way across this way. And I'll dance you. Skip that. Dancing. Oh, I needed one more space. How lame is that? Oh, that's alright. Okay, now, Morgan. Let's rally. Where's the guy with that bow? Oh, this one right here. I'm gonna destroy him for threatening me. There you go. Excellent. All right, now this. Oh, both these guys have some crazy stuff. All right. Let's just finish this guy off, and then land on that sparkly spot, and hopefully get a conversation going with Sully and I.
What do you dream about? I want to train and tell him the best damn knight I can be, better than any man. Huh. Wow, that's great. Okay, General Cynthia. I mean, nothing really too crazy. This guy's got Arc Thunder. Just kill him for the heck of it. 59 times 4. Oh my gosh. Talk about overkill. Uh -huh. She reminds me a lot of that one girl in the movie um, Wreck-It Ralph. The Glitch, or whatever, if you guys have seen that movie. She reminds me a lot of her. I'm just throwing that axe at the mirror. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Go say redoing it. Ooh, and you got Astra. Cool. Ooh, good job. Here it comes. You asked for it, dude. Slice. 114. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hey, what are you doing? What are you throwing that at me for? All right, here comes the lava. How far can you go? Oh man, you can't really go that far. I'm gonna kill this guy with Sayri really quick. Oh yeah! Fight well won. Very nice. Okay, come on, chest. Oh, medium money, get out of here. I mean, I guess I do kind of need some money, but. Eh. Kill this guy. Just for the heck of it. Because I enjoy killing these Valmese troops. Alright, we're ready. Here we go, one more chest. Oh, sparkle spot! Anything good? Rescue! Ugh! Lame. Alright, well, I think we're ready. Let's use my concoction. Excellent. Alright, dance. And now you're ready. Cynthia, oh there we go, Morgan. Okay, we'll just stand on the sidelines. Ouch, I don't want to go on that fire. Alright, is he going to move towards us? Ooh, nope. Oh, they're all breaking all over the place. Yikes. It's all crumbling before us. Alright, well, let's rally up the troop. I don't have any other rallies, right? No, I do not. Oh, I do, here. Rally Spectrum. Say re, here we go. Are you gonna do it? You gonna kill your brother? Oh yeah, kill your brother in like one transaction. All right, give me that Amatsu. I'm ready for it. Brother, I won't ask you why. We are well beyond that point now. I will speak it plain. I cannot forgive you, and neither can I let you live. What drivel? I've asked you for nothing, sister. But least of all your forgiveness. But you will have my justice, like it or no. You, who stood by in silence while everyone around you suffered. While villages were raised and fields burned, you watched but said nothing. When father and mother were murdered, you said nothing. Nothing, before you ran to the arms of the one man responsible for all of it. Your silence was deafening, maddening. Even now, have you nothing to say? <laughs> Yenfei! Damn you, Yenfei! then I will make your sword answer for you. Draw your blade and let it sing your final words. I've got your back. Face me. Got him. Seiri, you have grown so strong. Do, do you mock me? I have seen your best sword play. That was not it. You went easy on me, but why? What I could not tell you in life, I say with my death. Yenfei! 
but Yenfei! Seiri. You have found strong comrades. I no longer need fear for you. I die in peace. How do you Yen mean? Yenfei, wait. What do you mean? Why? Don't leave me with more silence. Not this time. Yenfei! One, two. Ganamatsu, yeah! Let's put that in the convoy. And over here, let's put that in the convoy as well. Alright, Abdallah and Sully! Why am I glowing red? Our victory secured, Yen Fei has fallen. I will never understand why he joined Walhart. His reasons die with him. What the? <laughs> but oh, what a death it was! Did you see the grief etched on his face? The mix of longing and pain in the eyes! And he had become such an accomplished actor, but that was all too real. <laughs> Exilus, what would you know of my brother, you lonesome toad? What? More than you, Princess of Kron Sin. And I would watch that mouth of yours. I am honoring Yen Fei's sacrifice by not killing you now. But even I have my limits. <clears throat> what? What do you mean, sacrifice? <laughs> Oopsie, did I just spill the beans? <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I promised your dear brother I'd never tell. Fei. Explain yourself, snake, or die! Really? Bah! As if you could harm me! You only live by my grace, you ungrateful wretch! I could have had you killed countless times. And I would have, if not for him. How do you Enough mean? talking around it. Say what you mean. Mm -hmm. Oh, did Yen Fei not groan out the truth as you cut him to bloody pieces? No, I suppose not. He always, always was so quiet. And proud. Honorable, I think they call it. Yet he swallowed his pride and cast aside his honor, all to protect his beloved kin. That's right, little sis, he did it, to save you. <coughs> what? Lies, you're lying. <coughs> no, I'm telling the truth, which, ad which I admit is a rare treat, so you best shut up and enjoy it. Before you meet these Ulyssians, I could have had you your head with a word. In Kron Sin at Valm Harbor, did you really think yourself so elusive? You were my leverage for Yen Fei. Unwitting and unbound, but a hostage all the same. I let you live, he fought for us. That was our deal, and he kept his end. Right to his end. No, no! Whew. Well, I don't know about you, but I feel much better having that off my chest. Maybe I'll give this truth-telling a try more often, yes. I shall resolve to do so. In any case, goodbye friends, I wish you safe travels, and so sorry about Yen Fei. Oops, I broke my resolution twice already. <laughs> wow. Yen Fei. No, no, this isn't... this can't be... Y Yen Fei, no! Seiri! <laughs> Gods! The thing I said to him, the things I did. I have wronged him beyond imagining. Uh, Yen Fei. If he only had spoken, told me, I could have joined the ruse. I. <coughs> Milady, I know well the grief of losing family with, with so much yet unsaid. How I'm could wretched. This happen? I repaid my brother's kindness with death. Oh, Yen Fei, forgive me. Please, oh, please, please. Say Re, I... I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Say Re, you did all you could. Your brother knew that. You are blameless in this. Exilus and the Empire are at fault here. And they will be made to answer for it, I promise you. Mercy, Sir friend. Krom, I... pray, forgive me. You have done so much for this land while I can give nothing in return. Or worse, what help I offered turned against us. Hey. We're the resistance now, and yet, we have yet to lose a battle. Yen Fei would be proud. And he'd also want us to fight on, to make sure a sacrifice is meaning. 
And fight we will, Seiri, until this land is free. My gratitude. Aye, sir, and thank you. I owe my life to you all, and to my brother. I swear to you, and to him, I will make the most of it. Okay, very cool episode. Too bad Seiri's gone, I was really hoping to actually recruit him. I was hoping to actually walk up to him and, and kind of talk to him with maybe, with, um... Wait, Yenfei? <laughs> Seiri? <laughs> I'm getting them both confused. Either way, do me a favor, leave me a comment in the section below uh, what you liked about the episode, and don't forget to click on that like button. We're doing subscriber appreciation, where if we get our viewer goal of 50 likes per episode on the first day that it's uploaded, then I'll upload two episodes on the next day. All to train you guys to click on that like button as soon as you open up the video. Alright guys, uh, that'll be it for me today, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe for more Fire Emblem Awakening. If you enjoyed this episode, why not take a look at my channel to check out the latest high quality Nintendo Wii, 3DS, and Wii U uploads. Click on that subscribe button and join the Abdala Nation.